Hello everyone, I hope you all watched the previous video in which I talked about elements. So today we'll be discussing about how elements are denoted. Okay, so whenever we write elements, we use certain terms or alphabets known as symbols. So to denote an element, we use symbols. Okay, symbols are nothing but abbreviations. Symbols are nothing but abbreviations. Like for example, Himali Boarding School, HBS. This is an abbreviation for Himali Boarding School. World Health Organization, WHO. Another abbreviation. So similarly, for elements also we use such abbreviations. So there are certain rules while writing symbols. I just can't tell. Okay, I'll give the symbol or this abbreviation for this element. We have to follow a certain rule while writing symbols. So the first rule is we use the first letter of the English name or the Latin name of that element. So we use the first letter of the English name or the Latin name of that element. For example, carbon is the English name. C. Calium is the Latin name for an element called potassium. We use the first letter of its Latin name, K. So potassium, the symbol for potassium is K. So this is the first rule. Second rule. Now suppose that carbon and calcium both begin with C, C. So we cannot use capital C for both carbon and calcium. So there is another rule. So if more than one element have the same first letter, then along with the first letter, we also use the second, third or fourth, fifth, whatever letter. So along with the first letter, we also use second, third or so on. Okay, for example, I already gave you carbon is C. Calcium begins with C, so we use first and the second letter, C-A. Chlorine. Chlorine also begins with C. So we write C, the first letter and the third letter, C-M. Okay, so if the first letter is the same, we use the second letter, third, fourth, or so on. This is the second rule. The third rule. If you have noticed, the first letter is always written in capital. And the next letter is always written in small. Like calcium. First letter capital. And then the second letter small. Chlorine. Capital C. Small F. So this is the third rule. So what were the rules that I told you? The first one is we use... The first letter of either the English name or the Latin name. The second rule, if the first letter is the same, then we use the second letter, third letter and so on. The third rule, the first letter is always written in capital letters and the second letter is written in small letters. Okay? So now, uh, what? why do we use symbols? Now symbols are used to make it very convenient. So whenever, wherever I go, if I see C is written, that means 
means it is calcium. Wherever I go, Cl is written. That means it denotes chlorine. So this is how elements are denoted. Now, if you have watched the previous video, I have talked about metals. I have talked about non-metals. And I have talked about metalloids. Now, there is one more type of element known as noble gas. Okay, what are noble gases? Now, these are the only elements which do not react with any other element. So, noble gases are those elements which do not react with any other elements and there are six noble gases. So elements which do not react with any other elements are known as noble gases. We have helium, neon, argon. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, Xenon and Radon. So these are the six noble gases and these are the only elements which do not react with any other elements. Uh, thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe my channel.